All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. Um, I'm going to do a couple step video here. Maybe try to condense it into one. But uh, I posted a short, like, 40 second video on my uh, YouTube page about uh, using a Raspberry Pi to get in to unlock a car without using a key fob. Now, in order to do this, uh, you'll need the key fob. So, and not all key fobs will obviously work. It may only work on older vehicles. But, you're going to need an, an RTL. So, I'm just using the uh, RTLSDR.com dongle. Any USB one would work. Uh... And a lot of times the key fobs are 315 megahertz or 433 megahertz. So what you can do is you'll just have to use like a uh, RTL <clears throat> software like SDR Sharp or HD SDR or whatnot. Now I'm just running this. Uh, one here on my tablet and uh, I just had the USB plugged in so you could just use it and we need to uh, obviously find where your key fob is picking up and you'll want to uh, pick up the strongest signal of it and write down the uh, frequency because we're going to need it when we do the software side of the house so, like I said, not all uh, key fobs will work. Maybe a lot of your older cars, and obviously not your newer ones. Now, I'm just doing this just to prove that it can be done. I don't condone anybody doing this. But it's not as easy as what you think it is. I mean, you'll need the key fob. We need to record the signal of unlocking it. Then we play it back and transmit it using the Pi. We're going to use the Pi to record it, and we're going to use the Pi to transmit the signal. So, and like I said, you'll need the key fob in order to do this. And uh, you'll also need to just add a little wire or whatnot to uh, <clears throat> the Raspberry Pi to the GPIO uh, 4. Now, I didn't have to. I set everything up on the Raspberry Pi 3 here. Then I just swapped the SD card over to the uh, Pi Zero to make it a little bit more portable and convenient. And I didn't have no wire plug to it, and it worked. So, <clears throat> that's the main step you need to use an RTL or whatever and get the frequency, however you feel like doing that. And uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to set the R the uh, software up. We're going to be using the RPI TX and uh, RTL SDR software, and that's the only two pieces of software we will need uh, in order to do this. Everything else is just command line. So. Since we are using the uh, RPI TX, I guess you possibly could use the version 2 and use the GUI side of it. But I'm only going to worry about showing the uh, command line side. So, other than that, I'll see you on the next one. Alright, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to set up the software. The RPI. The RPI TX and uh, RTL SDR software in order to record and play back the signal from the key fob. So, after you do a, an update normal stuff here, we are going to. You'll need get installed so you want to make sure you have that installed then we need to make sure that you have 
uh, CMake installed. Then we need to install this uh, LibUSB. <clears throat> I'll throw the link in the description to my website for all this stuff. Then after that, we're going to go ahead and clone the the uh, RPITX. We'll get it out. So now what we're going to do is CD into that directory once we clone it. Then we are going to install it. Now this is going to take a little bit, so I'm going to pause this and I'll be back. Alright, so now we need to enter Y. So once that's done, then we're complete with that. So we can go ahead and just clear that back out of it. Now we need to install the RTL SDR software. <clears throat> so this is basically the same sort of way set up here. So we're just going to CD into it. Then we are going to make a directory and call it build. Then we are going to CD into that. Then we need to make this so we are going to put put the following in there and then let that run then we're going to make this which shouldn't take too long then after that we need to install it And like I said, the uh, key fobs either run at 315 megahertz or 433 megahertz. Uh, ADT ones run around 345 megahertz, I believe. <clears throat> so, alright, so now that that's done, we are going to install then we need to run the LD config and we are going to reboot this and make sure you have your uh, USB uh, dongle plugged in and to my previous video we already got the frequency for the uh, key fob so <clears throat> once this pi reboots we'll be good to go to uh, put in the command to uh, record the uh, signal and play it back so once it reboots you need to get back into the rpi tx uh, directory so what we are going to do is run the following command here. Now, <clears throat> all right, we're running RTL, sample rate 2.5, gain is 35, the frequency is whatever your key fob is. So yours may be totally totally different you just gotta put it in what it may be for example with the e6 right beside it the file name you can rename this whatever you feel like so we can just rename it unlock then what you'll do is as soon as you hit enter you'll want to hit the unlock button on the key fob so once you hit this, now it probably won't work because I ain't got an RTL plugged in. But uh, let me plug one in real quick and I'll be right back. 
Alright, so let's try this now because I uh, plugged one in. So now we're just going to run this. And like I said, as soon as you hit enter, you'll want to start hitting your uh, key fob like maybe four or five times. Then what you'll do is, as soon as you're done with that, we'll hit control C to cancel it. So now, if you look, we have a file down here, unlock IQ. So now what we need to do is to send that file to transmit it. We need to run the following command. <clears throat> it's a little bit different here in the front. We added the uh, dash T and you'll want to add the whatever you called your file name over here. And as soon as you hit this, it will start uh, transmitting the file. So after that, if it works, it should unlock it. If not, then uh, maybe the key fob is a newer one and it may not work. So, but uh, that's about it. It's not too hard. So. Like I said, I'll throw a link in the description to my website for the commands and everything in this video and all. So, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another one.